Hello stampers and crafters. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. It is super cute. We're going to be using the cutest cows bundle from Stampin' Up! So if you want to see exactly how to make this card, please keep watching. So to start our card, first we're going to do a little bit of stamping and we're going to be using the Cutest Cows Bundle from Stampin' Up! You can shop all these supplies in my online store. It's the first link in the description of this video. We're going to be using a couple of stamps from this stamp set to create our scene. I'm also going to be using the Cow Builder Punch to punch out the head and the body. You could also make a paper cow. There's a muzzle here, there's the tail. Um, there's a little bell and there's some horns here. Super cute set. I am loving it. I've been using it all week long. You can see all the projects, including this one, on my blog, sassypapercrafts.com, or click the link in the description of this video. So for this stamps, or this stamp set, this card, we're going to be using several stamps. We're going to be using this cow body. Now make sure you use this one if you want to punch it out. This one is the only one that fits in the punch. These two um, faces also fit, so you could use either one of those. I like the little one with the wink, and then I really like that sentiment, what's moo with you? We're also going to be using the flowers here and the grass. So let's get started. First, I have a scrap piece of basic white here and a scalloped rectangle that I die cut using the scalloped contours dies. We're going to be using both of those and then just one ink color, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Let me grab my stamps. There's our flowers, our grass, our cow, body and the head, and our sentiment. So five stamps. Let's do our cow first. So what I like to do is ink it up and then you want to kind of check to see which way this goes. So the body goes like this. So I like to do it down in a corner like that. And then for the face, I want to turn it. Now you could just put this up there, but it might not get the way you want. I've seen people make templates. I tried that. It just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to turn this and I'm going to do the face right there. Move those out of the way. Now we can punch them out. I'm just going to set this aside for a minute and show you how this works. So the punch has this little locking mechanism that keeps it closed. You just push it up. We're going to do the head first because if you did the body first, see, you would cut his ear. Don't want to do that. So we're going to punch out the head first. I'm just going to line it up and punch. So there's the head, and now we can get in there and get the body. So again, you're just going to line it up. Normally, I stick my whole face right over this so I can see, but I don't want to get my head in the camera, so I'm going to do my best. And there's the body. And you are going to get some little scrap pieces. I just kind of toss those. And that's it for the punch. Now, you'll notice that the head... This fits right on there. So we can use dimensionals to pop that up. Now let's move on to our, our scene here. Let's set our scene. So the first thing I want to do is stamp my flowers. So I'm just going to take the ink pad to the flowers. Sometimes when the stamp is larger, it's a bit easier. And I'm just going to go over to the left side of my rectangle there. Move that out of the way, and then we can take our grass. And I tried to go in a line, but just go along the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, but with the photopolymer, you can see right through that. So it's a little wobbly there. That's okay. Then, because it's you're gonna cover it up with the cow. Then we're gonna take our sentiment, and I went right up, line that up with my grid paper right in that corner up there. What's moo with you? How cute! So now we have to do a little bit of coloring, and for that I'm gonna be using 
Stampin' Blends. I love Stampin' Blends. It's one of my favorite ways to color. So I have, these come in a combo pack. I have Lemon Lime Twist, both dark and light, Daffodil Delight, Pecan Pie, and Ivory. Now this comes in a combo pack with bronze. We're not going to be using bronze, just the ivory one. So let's do our cow first. And I'm going to go in with the ivory. And I like the brush tip ends. And I'm just going to do the spots. The tail. And the hooves on the body here. And don't forget, you can find all of these in my online store. I love the blends. Literally my favorite way to color because it's so easy. I'm not very um, artsy, so these kind of make it easy to like shade and do some fun artsy stuff without really being artsy. So for the face, I just did like the muzzle, the hair, and then the inner part of the ears. We are done with ivory. Now I'm going to go in light pecan pie. And I'm going to go around the face first. I'm not making it too, too dark because I don't want to wash out the details there. But I thought of making like a chocolate cow. Have you ever heard that the joke that some people think chocolate milk comes from brown cows? I think that's hilarious. <laughs> of course not. But I wanted to make a chocolate cow. <laughs> There's the face, and now we can do the body. I'm just gonna outline because I don't want to get any of this pecan pie in the spots. And do you say pecan or pecan? I feel like I try to say pecan, but that's not natural for me. I'm a Michigander, we say pecan. Let me know in the comments what one you say, because I say pecan. And Stampin' Up! must like pie, because we have pecan pie. The new, one of the new in colors is peach pie, we have pumpkin pie. I think they like pie. So now I'm gonna take the dark, I don't know why I grabbed that, I'm gonna take the dark, and we're just gonna kinda go over around the spots a little bit, maybe up there. I just like to do a little bit of shading because it makes me feel, I don't know, artsy. So I try to get close to these lines here. And then for the head, we're done with that. I don't want to do any more um, because I want the body to be just a little bit darker. So now I'm going back in with the light and just blending all of that together because it's stamp and blends. And we're blending. There, so now we can set that aside. We're done with pecan pie. Can go move on to our little scene here. So I'm going to start with the light lemon lime twist. And what I did was I just turned this sideways. It was easier for me. And I just colored those bottom scallops. And then you can go in with the dark and just kind of go over the stamped part and just bring that color down into the light lemon lime twist. I just kind of like I said I'm going over the stamped lines want to make sure that none of that white is popping out just gives it a more realistic look a little more depth and then I'm gonna go over the leaves and just that line. And for that one, I kind of did the whole thing because it's a tiny little leaf. Now we can go back in with the light. We are done with the lemon lime twist. And I'm going to take the light daffodil delight. 
And I'm just going to color this, the whole flowers, all the flowers. Now I'm just going to take the dark and I'm just going to go over the middle, this little center circle, and then the leaves. I just felt like that gave it a little bit more of a pop. All right, now we're ready to assemble everything. So I have my pecan, pecan, see I try to say pecan and pecan at the same time, <laughs> pecan pie um, card base here. I have my um, designer series paper, and this is actually from the Let's Go Fishing suite. This is the Let's Go Fishing designer series paper. I just liked how that looked. It gave me like a farm feel. And then this is a strip for the inside. Here's our inside piece that's just going to go along the bottom. So we are ready to put this there. Let me grab my stamp and seal. I'm going to run some along this back edge. I like going to the edges and then kind of doing a little like crisscross. And I have some of this pecan pie bordered ribbon. And I just kind of roughly eyeball it. Cut it, and then I just stick it, and I can go right in the middle and wrap it around. I didn't cut quite enough, but it's okay. It'll work. It will work. And then stick that right on our card base. Put some dimensionals on the back of this panel. The four should do it. right in the center and then we can put our cow together so I like to take a little bit of seal and just right up there I don't know if you can see that but it's a very tiny amount up there and then I take the head and I just kind of smush it on there just like that and then we can take two dimensionals and pop it up and you want to be careful with this part. You don't want to cover up your words. I think we put them over far enough to where I won't. You will cover up a little bit of the grass and a little bit of the flowers, but that is okay. And then to finish this card, I'm going to use some of the adhesive back swirl dots. Now, these are part of the Latte Love Um it's a little latte suite that is an online exclusive, which you can find in my online store. But I just thought they went so well with it. Now for this one, you can't really see them. They're kind of down there. I used the white. I think for this card, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the pecan pie ones. Pick up three. I'm using my take your pick tool. There's three down there. I think, see, those look better. I just think they stand out more. Oh, and don't forget the inside. Run a little bit of seal, or you can use liquid glue. Um, liquid glue will give you a little bit of wiggle room if you're not great at, like, perfect placement. I just match up the corners and run that down. This roll of seal has been giving me trouble Thankfully, it is almost gone, so I'm not going to have to worry about it anymore. I'm just put the inside in, and that is our card. So I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial. I hope it inspired you to get crafty. Um, be sure to check out my blog for this project and the other projects, and shop my online store to get your high-quality Stampin' Up! products. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.